Have you ever been one of those people who really want to be fit and healthy and strong, want to run a marathon, want to do a pull-up or your first chin-up, or wish that they could hike a mountain without getting out of breath, do something as simple as walking upstairs without being in pain? I'm one of those people and I've been one of these people my entire life and it's hard. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a bit of a talky video so I do apologise. I have been battling for so long to try and lose weight, to try and get fit, to try and get healthy. And the main thing that's always let me down is myself and lack of time. And the amount of people that go, oh, you only need five minutes in one day. I don't always have necessarily five minutes on one day. And the very occasion that I do have five minutes in one day is usually taken up by running my business, going to mermaid training. The majority of my day is actually spent sat in my car, driving, picking up dogs ready for their walks. And I do actually, walk two to three hours every single day with the dogs that I walk and it's not made any difference whatsoever in my shape or my fitness or my health. And after a while you get to a point where you're like, oh, why am I letting myself do this to myself? And I've got to this point on several different occasions. Every single time I've gone, right, now's gonna be the time. We're gonna sort ourselves out. We're gonna make a change, make a difference and everything's gonna be great. And after two days I fell off the wagon and something's gone wrong or affected my mental health or something's made it so that I can't carry on or that I miss a day. And then when I miss a day, everything goes to part and I pretty much give up completely. Or another one for me is when I say to myself, I'm going to start on the first of the month, the first of the month comes and again after two days something goes wrong, something out of my control happens and I can't start or vice versa, I'll go I'll start on Monday and then something happens on that Monday or for whatever reason I don't have time, I get last minute bookings, something goes wrong to make it so that I struggle or can't get myself started or if it's not myself and time letting me down trying to get exercise done it's food and I have a problem with my kitchen and the fact that I only really eat stuff out of the cupboard. I don't really go in the fridge and I tend to forget to eat healthy balanced meals or sometimes I am so restricted and so lacking in time. I don't have good meals. I just have something quick and easy that I can throw in the microwave for two minutes like rice or pasta. And I'm sick of letting myself down, but I also don't know how to combat letting myself down. Jason actually found a great way to do it not too long ago. He gave me a challenge because I'm really bad for cheese. I'm addicted to cheese. I love my cheese. Jason actually gave me a challenge to not eat cheese for a week and there was going to be a prize at the end of it. And I have still not claimed that prize because we keep on not having time to go to said place to claim prize. By place, we're going for a meal at one of our favorite restaurants and it's a very expensive restaurant. So it's definitely a prize. Brain stopped working. What was it going on? What was it talking about? But that challenge seemed to actually motivate me to actually do what I meant to do and not eat so much cheese, which I was having about a thousand calories of cheese alone per day. And I'm still struggling, like I said, with my food of eating thousand plus calorie meals three times a day. I want to try and set myself mini challenges every week to try and improve my fitness, improve my fitness journey. If I do too much in one go, I get burnt out, I get overwhelmed and everything goes wrong. So I have to try and make it one new challenge a week and then continue that challenge into the second week, which is going to be easier said than done. But I'm hoping that by doing it in this manner, it might help me keep and maintain and sustain better healthier habits. It kind of seemed like something I should vlog so we're going to record it and I am going to attempt because we know how good I am at things to do weekly vlogs of my progress and that's another thing I need to get on is more content for this YouTube channel but I am going to attempt to do weekly vlogs with my challenge journey, my fitness journey, my health journey, my weight loss journey and the first way we're going to start it by waking up on time and that sounds really stupid but the truth is that waking up on time is actually really really difficult for me. I don't know why, but getting up on time is really hard. My alarm goes off, I turn it off, and then my brain goes back to sleep and goes into these really, really vivid, realistic dreams. I, I'm very conscious that I'm awake and I'm in my bedroom, but for some reason I go into these very deep, very realistic dreams that are so lifelike, it feels like I'm doing the task and it feels like I'm working or going out or doing something and it's automatically taking away a lot of my spoons, the whole, you have 10 spoons a day. These dreams alone are taking away three or four of my spoons because I feel like I'm actually working on doing something. And when I'm not, I'm laying in bed. My brain is telling me that I'm doing all these mental and physical things. So that's challenge number one. But the whole idea of challenge number one is allowing me to get up in the morning to actually do some exercise because this is where I'm struggling. I like to get exercise in first thing in the morning after I wake up because if I go to work and get
get things done through the day. By the end of work, I'm too tired, I'm too fed up. I don't want to do any exercise at all. It's hard enough getting myself to go mermaid training every week, which thankfully I love enough to want to do every evening. But when you've already done a lot of physical days work, the last thing you want to do is do more physical activity. So that's why in week one, our first challenge is to wake up on time, which is gonna be so much easier said than done. So much easier said than done, so hard. Starting tomorrow, because I failed this morning, tomorrow being Thursday the 9th of March. I've also got a busy day today. Wednesday is one of my longest days on the week, which is why I want to start getting into the habits on like Tuesdays and Thursdays when it's my quiet days and I'm less stressed. And if you notice behind me, I am actually recording a lot of things. So up here, I've got my goals. I've got my mermaiding, which I want to get done by this year, which I have completed. I have officially completed and I've got my first show in April, which I'm very excited for. So I've already hit one of my goals. JLPT says July 2023. Reality is I'm not going to be ready. So I'm going to switch that to December. And Ninja Warrior by 2026. That again is still very, very much a goal and a desire. But in order to get there, I need to get into calisthenics training a lot more than what I currently am. I've been very much neglecting my calis calisthenics training. You know, also this I've also been monitoring my weight. So at the 1st of Feb, I was 99.2 kilograms. I did actually make some progress and went down to 96 kilograms at one point. And uh, yeah, that was today. That was, that was today. There you have it. That is my challenge for the week. Getting up at 7 a.m. every day for seven days. That's the challenge. And you know what? We're gonna write it on our board. I've also got my Tap Brothers progress, so we're not going to worry too much about that right now. But well, we are going to start a new section of the board. Challenge of the week. And this week's challenge, get up every day at 7 a.m. M. So there we are. My challenge is now on my board. It is there. It is physical and I need to keep to it. This board has actually been proven to be very handy for me as a way of tracking what I'm doing. So hopefully that I now have a physical thing showing me what I need to do and what my challenge is. That will hopefully help me keep track and continue the challenge. This board is very helpful. If you struggle with remembering things or if you struggle with, I won't say ADHD, but I've not technically been diagnosed. All the tests I have done say I need to go get diagnosed diagnosed, but I have not been medically diagnosed. I learned from watching a lot of ADHD TikToks out of sight, out of mind. I'm trying to keep things in sight with this board and it is actually helping quite a bit. So here we go. But thank you very much for watching this video, guys. It really does mean a lot to me that anyone watches my videos. If you're looking forward to following me on my fitness journey, give me a subscribe. Or if you're looking forward to seeing what challenges I decide to import. If you have any suggestions for any challenges that could benefit me, give us a comment, like drop a comment in the box below. Give me a few challenges. Who knows, I might actually implement one of your challenges in a future video. So thank you very much for watching guys. But for now, I need to get to work. So I will see you later.